Hello and welcome to today's tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can stake your Fala on Nova Wallet, which is a third party mobile wallet for the Polkadot and Kusama ecosystems. Again, if you are staking your Fala, PHA for short, then you need to make sure you are on Kala Network, which is the canary network of Fala Network, because that's the only network that supports staking at the moment. And it's only available on Qcoin, Gate or Karura if you want to use a decentralized exchange. Keep in mind that if you get it on Binance and you want to stake it, your other option would be the subbridge, but the fee is quite high. It's 300 PHA at the time of doing this video, which means around $57. So to me, it's not worth it. It's better to just open up an account on Qcoin or Gate or simply use Karura. It will work out much, much cheaper for you if you want to stake. Now, if you want to learn how to use Nova Wallet, I have done a dedicated tutorial previously, so you can find a link to that in the top right-hand corner of the screen. But to kick things off, assuming you already have a wallet, now all you have to do is you select DApps down at the bottom. We have to search for the Fala app. We select it. And now, as you can see, it opens up the website for us. Now on the top of the screen here, we can see we are on the Kala network. There is a drop down. We can switch between Kala and Fala, but we want to stay on Kala because we can only stake on Kala. We are connected to the wallet already, but if we weren't, then we could just connect, right? We would get the option to connect to Nova. Now, what we have to do is we have to select the three lines on the top right hand corner. And here we get a drop down. So we go to delegate. And here we can see the volts and the stake pools that are available. If we scroll down, we need to make sure that we only see the verified ones, which have the green check mark next to it. So by doing that, so in order to ensure we do that, we just select the filter here on the left hand corner. We tick verified and we hit out of it. So now we can see only the verified ones. So let's assume we would choose a stake pool because stake pools give us more flexibility. You need to first make sure you are not choosing one that has 0% commission. Okay, so how do we check that? We simply press it and it'll actually open up a page here and we can see it's got 18% commission and not 0%. So that's good. Now we can go back. So in order to stake with it, you simply select the arrow. As you can see, it gives us a drop down. So here we can see a text box and it tells us to enter our Fala here. So we've got the option to do so. Now let's assume we had 100 Fala. We would select delegate. Here we would have to sign the transaction. It tells us what the network fee is. We hit confirm. We sign the transaction and we're done. Once we do that, what we would do is we would go back to the three lines on the top right hand corner. We go to my delegation and here we would see our Fala, okay, staked with a stake pool or with a vault if we were to choose a vault. If we want to withdraw that Fala from the stake pool or from the vault, what we would do is we would select that NFT because it ultimately looks like an NFT. We would choose withdraw from this list, we would choose the amount that we want to withdraw and we would wait for that to get triggered. Now, if there's anything free in the pool, then we would be able to withdraw it instantly, assuming that we want to withdraw the same quantity that's available in the pool. And so when we would do that, we would actually see it under the wrapped Fala here in this section. So we would have to select unwrap all, sign the transaction for it to actually go into the available balance for us to be able to transfer it out from our wallet, right? So that's all you have to do. I hope you found this informative. If you have any questions, please drop me a comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like to help with the algorithm. Take care and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.